This is the Aedes aegypti mosquito. It spreads dengue fever, chikungunya disease, yellow fever, and now the Zika virus. But how to control and even eradicate an insect which numbers in the billions and can reproduce so prolifically? One single female can, within three months, produce 15.6 million other female offspring, all able to spread the disease. And the solution of this company, Oxitec, is to breed in, genetically, a mortality gene that prevents the offspring ever reaching adulthood. At this research lab in Oxfordshire, England, genetic biologists use an antidote to control the self-limiting gene and allow them to create millions of the transgenic male mosquitoes. The male insects don't bite, they don't spread disease. But once released into the wild, the genetically modified males can effectively decimate the mosquito population. As we release our males, the females can't tell the difference between our males and a wild one. If given the choice, it'll be a 50-50 straight bet. So if she mates with ours, then the offspring will die. So it's simply a numbers game. We need to put more males out there so that more of the females mate with ours. Because every time a female mates with one of ours, she's not going to have viable offspring. So then you bring the population down. What that means in practice is that in a town, within six months, you can reduce the mosquito population by over 90%. And that's in every case that we've done it. Between April and November last year, in partnership with the authorities in the Brazilian city of Piracicaba, Oxitec released 25 million of the modified males. It achieved an 82% drop in the number of wild mosquito larvae. The transgenic males are identifiable through a genetic color marker, invisible under normal light, which is passed on to their larvae offspring. Monitoring the success rate of the transgenic males with the wild females is a simple matter of seeing how many of the larvae show up the red color. The company already has a factory in Brazil which is producing millions of the transgenic mosquitoes every week and is building an even bigger facility to produce tens of millions of mosquitoes a week in anticipation of regulatory approval. The sight of fumigation vehicles blanketing neighborhoods with insecticide might reassure the human population but it has only short-lived effect on the overall mosquito population. Introducing a self-destruct gene appears to be a far more effective tool, and US regulators are now looking keenly at the transgenic mosquito, with a field trial being considered in Florida. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Oxfordshire.